citizen. Today I have the Origin 325A and as you can see it is a fighter type ship and if you're wondering uh, this is a $80 package it comes with a self land hangar the digital game track uh, 2000 UVC credits a digital star map the Squadron 42 in the Persistent Universe 4 months insurance and the beta access and as I said this is a introduction type uh, fighter class uh, ship and on the front it has a, a size 3 I believe uh, no size 2 or class 2 I mean uh, a sludge 2 which is kind of like a kind of like a uh, a laser type burst and on the wings it has uh, four missiles and on the outstretch of the wings it has two uh, class one uh, lasers and as you can see uh, how you get in the ship is uh, it has butterfly doors much like the, a Lamborghini and uh, ladders that come down so that uh, has on both sides and it also has uh, a oh, what is it? the airlocks <laughs> or yeah the there's airlocks at the, the one at the top of the ship. So uh, if you actually wanted to board this with another ship, uh, you could. And this is a, a one crew, and I'm not very good at flying, especially uh, this one. You don't see. Uh, this is a one crew, but it does have plenty of space for uh, another person because it does have a fold-out bed in the hallway going to the uh, cockpit, and it also has or can carry 16 freight units uh, in that back part and uh, for this one I believe it has an upgraded uh, power plant to uh, a class 4 and uh, an S or class size 3 um, and a and addi additional equipment is uh, on the side it says a uh, custom weapon system. So, no, I don't know what that is. Kind of a like radar, probably a bunch of other things you can fit on there. Um, but pretty much uh, that's it about the ship and uh, what comes with the package. Now, uh, here I have uh, some uh, Band of Storm gameplay with uh, the ship, and this is just a uh, just a uh, short clip because I will say I'm I'm not a fan of this ship uh, at all really. Uh, I do like that it does have a gimbal mount gun compared to the 300 uh, I the entry level uh, 300 series. Um, but don't be mistaken, the 300 series is a mid a mid tier uh, uh, starter ship. Uh, compared to the Aurora and the Mustang, which are entry level ships. Uh, so they are fairly distant, they're very maneuverable. You know, everything you expect from a fighter one. Uh, but, but from that, it's, uh, it, it's definitely, you, I'd use it for like an escort or uh, a fast transport ship uh, carrying uh, more precious cargo than like a constellation or cutlass or anything like that. I can carry like a, a mass storage of uh, items and goods and whatnot. Uh, but that's basically what I would uh, classify this ship for use for. But or a fighter, just uh, core system operational. Um, just support vessel for like a if you and your friends want to have like a a party so someone has like a constellation or something and uh you want to do some escorting uh with your friends or your uh or organizations in the uh, star system this uh definitely be a great mid-tier ship for that kind of uh use and as you can see or earlier uh when i have trouble taking off uh if you're wondering why there is bugs they actually have a a pretty cool uh, system for how they like, bugs happen is uh 
the actual systems for the when the bugs mess up is like if it was actually happening kind of like the landing gear they were talking about at the PAX panel where uh, uh, basically Bud would make something stick in the landing controls too much like how it would happen in real life so if something got stuck it stuck it wouldn't uh, actually extend or it, uh, break or something like that uh, and a fine example of that is uh, on the Aurora they had a, a recall uh, about a couple of days ago, or about a week ago they fixed it about a couple days ago and basically how that how the guns would keep overheating and wouldn't cool down is if heat pipes were tra transferring enough heat out of the guns uh, because there was some bug with the engines or something like that. Uh, if you watch Bug Smashers, uh, Bug Smashers, you know, uh, you you would uh, you would have seen about that. Or if you want to go check that out, it's uh, on their Around the Verse, I believe, episode 28 or 29, one of those two. Uh, but if, if that system was pulling heat off the engine so it can take as much from the guns, so it would never actually pull heat off from the guns and they were overheat. And so they just fix the uh, values on the scripts that take the heat away from uh, that whole thing. They increase the heat. They're not the decreased heat output. And that's basically uh, for the systems. But this is definitely a, a gr or definitely a great fighter ship to get. But if I I would save up for the Goliaths. So they have uh, they have that becoming flyable uh, very soon. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching.